Hey guys, so let's do 1.5 now. So it says human blood is classified into eight main blood groups. The SANBS is regularly appealing to eligible people to donate blood, right? Table two below shows the distribution of the eight different blood groups in the South African population, okay? So this is a percentage. Let's just check that all of those add up to 100. I think they should because it's you have to be in one of the blood groups. Perfect, add up to 100. So this is split and adds up to 100. So we just say adds up to 100. Table two below shows the compatibility between the blood group of the donor and the possible recipient. Okay, so let's try to understand this table. I know in um, I often say don't spend too much time understanding the scenario because the um, questions help you understand it. But this is quite a tricky table. So I want us to try figure out or make sure that we understand what's going on. Okay. So donor blood group, okay, so we see that for O negative, O negative can donate to every single type of blood group, okay, do you see that, can donate to every single blood group, but O negative can only receive from itself, AB, right, can only give, right, donate to itself and to AB negative, but it can receive from every single blood group. Okay, that's important. You must understand what this table is showing. Okay, so 1.5.1 says, write down the probability of randomly selecting a South African who is classified in the O blood group. Okay, so we see here the O blood group is these two here. They're both O, just one's positive and one's negative. They haven't stated whether they want positive or negative, so we're just going to do both of them. So it's going to be, let's just write this down, 1.5.1. So we say O group, right, is going to be O positive plus O negative, which equals 39 plus 6, which equals 45%. Okay. So they're just wanting you to understand that those are percentages. We saw they were percentages and we see they add up to 100. That's, we already tested that. Okay. So 1.5.2 says, identify the blood group of a recipient that has 100% probability of being able to receive blood from any donor blood group. Well, we said earlier, right? We can see here that every um, group that can donate, all of them can donate to AB positive. Okay, so it is AB positive, right? We see that there's no other blood group that is yes across the board right? A positive is yes for four. We can see that B positive is yes for four, but A, B positive can get from anyone, okay? So that's quite important, okay? Let's now look at the last question here, 1.5.3. It says, verify with reason whether it is most likely for O negative, for an O negative blood group recipient to be able to receive blood from any donor blood group? Well, we see that the recipient, O negative, can only receive from itself, right? So it's not most likely, right? No, it's not most likely. No, right? O negative, sorry, O negative can only receive blood from its own group. Okay, right? So that's important, okay? It's not like AB that can just go from everyone, right? Can take blood from anyone, right? AB is most likely, but O negative is not. It's not most likely. It can only take blood from itself. Okay, that was actually quite a tricky question, but a good one to understand data interpretation. Okay, perfect. Let's now move on to question two.